How many of you read the book 10X? Okay, the 10X rule, the 10X rule, there it is right there, can I see it? The 10X rule is a book, it's a book I wrote about how to, how to about how, 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 how do I multiply something? How do I multiply so that if I go back to biblical times when they talked about drought and scarcity, okay? If you look in the Bible, if you go back, you're going to see that people weren't 10Xing. That's why people went into poverty, okay? If you go back to the farm times, you're going to see back in the farm times, back in the 30s and 40s, when we hit these big droughts, issues with farmers did not produce enough so they couldn't take care of themselves, See, the 10X rule is really about, I'm going to take care of me, I'm going to take care of my wife and two kids, and then I'm going to start multiplying and see how many neighborhoods or communities or cities I could actually fund if I needed to. Right? So, so, so this, this is a book, okay? This book has now since become something that, that's bigger than a book, and it's definitely bigger than, than me. Okay? It involves people wanting to do something, multipliers, not addition. You know? See, you were taught to add, not multiply. I don't teach my kids to add and subtract. I'm like, look, get the first 10 numbers down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then skip. 10, 100. <laughs> Dude, you don't want to do all that stuff in between, man. Okay, it's ridiculous. We went to, we went to the, the girls and said, look, they, they don't like school. How many of you didn't like school? Okay, so I'll sign that before I leave, all right? Okay, no disrespect to you or the book, by the way. Um, I told my kids, I said, look, if you guys want to do 12 years, stay in the public schools, okay, or the private schools, whatever. I'll get you a private school. They're no better than the public schools. It's all garbage, okay, because it takes too long. It just takes too long. Who wants to do anything for 12 years? I don't want to be where I'm at at 12 years from now. Right? I want to skip. So you guys got to start thinking about how do I multiply, okay? What were you taught about attention as a kid? Say again. Don't get too much attention. Don't be the center of attention. Right or wrong? See? See, this is what you guys got to strip away. Be seen and... Okay? Uh, 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 Don't toot your... Don't toot your own arm, man. Then why have one? I told my mom, my mom's like, don't toot your own arm. Why'd you get me the musical instrument? That'd be like Taylor Swift not using her gifts. That'd be like having that stadium out there and not filling it up with people, man. Okay? You want to write this down. Money follows attention. If you got a money problem, it's because you hadn't gotten enough attention. Because there's no shortage of the money. There's plenty of money going around. Who's got some money? Y'all, y'all blowing money out here. Buddy. Oh, I want, I, want, I want the dollar. <laughs> Shit, be like, whole world's become a prostitute. <laughs> Just, oh. And dollars, too. Okay? Notice what happens when that cannon comes out, man. Y'all go crazy. Right? It's a natural instinct. I got to have it. Right? We'll chase a dollar, but not chase a billion dollars. Why? This is what I've been asking myself my whole life. I was telling Chuck uh, on the way in here, we were upstairs talking, and, and he's like, hey, man, what's that new jet like? I said, dude, it's unbelievable. But I said, what you don't know is the first time I walked on one, and I said, this will never happen in my lifetime. Elena was tripping, so excited, sharing it on her Instagram. Oh, my God. This is a new jet we were looking at about a year and a half ago. She's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is incredible. And I was freaking hostile, inside, eaten up, angry, like venomous anger, like, oh, this will never happen. This will never happen in my lifetime. This is impossible. This is so far out. I was so angry at myself. I'm like, this will never happen in my lifetime. That, that's the whole story of my life, man. Like 60 years of me being angry at me for not, not playing at another level. So how many of you can relate to that? Do you should be angry with yourself. Okay? This gentleman right here, this man back here in the back, you guys are running out of time, man. You guys know it. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm 60 years old. Tick tock, dude. Tick tock. Okay? Like, when are you going to make a difference? Right? When are you going to get enough attention to be like, hey, I'm going to trade 40 grand to have millions of people see me on TV? 
right? Last night, the 10X rule on Google searches on a scale to 100, which is what they rate it to, hit 100. The last time that happened, Bitcoin was at 19,000, and it was hitting 100, okay? So, so was the 40 grand worth it? Yeah, I think it was probably a pretty good deal, right? Not to mention the guy sitting on the front row. By the way, I'm talking about myself while I do. I'm sharing some information that could become valuable to you in your life. Three, three uh, seats down for me, a young dude works for a company called Brookfield. Brookfield owns more apartments in the United States of America than any other group in America. I'm in the apartment business. Kind of good for me. Okay. And that reminds me of how many times in my life I bought the coach seat, stayed at the Ramada, right? Went on travel velocity and bought the best deal I could. Like, you know you're in trouble when you're shopping for the best deal. You guys know that, right? You are in trouble when you pick your hotels based on if the buffet is free in the morning. Because the problem with that is this. Everybody that you're going to stay with that weekend is worried about how much breakfast costs. See? See, you guys wouldn't spend the 40K. Only a couple of reasons why you wouldn't spend the 40K. Either you don't have it. Right? You're worried, or you do have it, but you're worried about replenishing it. You should be taking notes right now. This would be the time to start scribbling and adding. Because I've already stripped I've already stripped some data away from you, okay? Money doesn't grow on? It's a lie, man. Money's a paper product, okay? Money, money's a paper product. It comes from a cotton bush, okay? Because people talk about money, don't even know anything about it, okay? Look, this is paper. It's a piece of freaking paper. It came from a cotton bush, okay? It gets, it gets, it gets produced. You don't even need to make money. All you got to do is collect it. Okay? People are like, I got to make some money. It's against the law to make money. <laughs> okay? Who's got 20 bucks on them? Who's got, who's got 20? Let me, what, how, much, how much you got on you, sir? What you got on you, man? Let me, let me, let me have 100, man. Let me have 100. He's got a couple hundred. This guy's rolling. What's your name, man? Matthew. Matthew, good to meet you, brother. Good to meet you. One. Fantastic. Two fifties, by the way. Who's on a 50? I'm going to teach you something about money right now. Who's on a 50? Okay. It's a president. Y'all don't, y'all don't know Ulysses S. Grant? This guy was a drunk. Okay. He about to become my son. Okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. And I add to the stack. And the only way I give it back is if he does something for me. Because I did something for him. Okay. What's your name again, sir? Matthew. Matthew. What do you do, Matthew? I sell insurance. This man sells insurance for security who? Security National? Dude, Security National. I did more for him than he did for me, right or wrong. All he did was give me two dead-ass presidents, (laughs) by the way, that aren't even his. Okay, I'm teaching you about money right now. These two $50 bills are not his. They never were his. They were somebody else's. Do you know who gave you these? You gave them? Who gave you the two fifties before this? Bank teller. Bank teller. Who gave them to her? Who knows? Who knows? She don't. <laughs> she took them from some stranger. <laughs> there you go. That's money moving. You understand? So how did I get this money? I didn't come up with an idea. Okay, I went from an idea to who's got my damn money. Okay, my kids are going to end up with this on their feet. They're going to end up with them on their feet. I'm going to probably order some Nikes for them with 10X on the back. And it becomes what? Tax deductible. I'm going to send them out there to the world and say, hey, man, go show them feet off. Okay. Now, the reason I can do that is because I understand how much money it takes for me and my family, my community, my dreams, and my church. I know how much money is needed. Right? You guys are trying to pay your bills, man. I'm trying to take care of a freaking city. Right? I don't want to worry about jet fuel. I don't know what it costs. I don't care. How many of you grew up worried about your ga- the price of gas? 
Huh? How many of you put more air in your tires because your daddy said if you got them loaded up to 32, you'll actually save some money on fuel? Huh? How many of you turn the air conditioning off still today? You're like, let, let me turn that air conditioning off. It's going to save me some fuel. A penny saved is? It's a penny, man. A penny is a penny. Remember this. A penny is a penny. You can save as many pennies as you want. It's never going to become freedom. Won't happen. You want freedom? That's how you get freedom right there. You get attention. Okay? Anybody that gets close to freedom on this planet gets attention first. You got to get attention first. So I asked you, why aren't you getting attention? How much attention is too much? Right? I didn't make that image, by the way. Somebody on Instagram made that image of me with the flag. He didn't see it like me doing the flag with 10,000 people behind me. 54,000 people in that stadium last night for 18 innings. By the way, I bought a ticket for nine innings and got 18. <laughs> Woo! Blessed. We left at the bottom of the 16th. My wife's like, why are we leaving? I'm like, because the country is going to sleep. Mission complete. I got to go get me some sleep. I'm going to Nashville. Okay? Okay? You learn anything? Do get attention. Number one, you got to get attention. So the second question now is, why aren't you getting attention? Only a couple reasons why you're not doing it. Okay? It's not because, oh, I'm an introvert. That is not the answer to the question. If you keep saying something to yourself and it doesn't solve your problem, you have the wrong answer. Okay? You need to write this down. If you keep saying something to yourself over and over and over again and it does not solve the problem, you have the wrong answer, possibly even the wrong question. <laughs> okay? Why, why am I not getting more attention, man? Some of you are thinking like this, like, why am I not, man? I wonder, why am I not? The guy that does the My, the, the my Pillow ad. Anybody know his name? Mike Lindell. Some of you know his name, man. Is that what it is? Mike Lindell? Got a little cross on, playing, that, play, playing the cross thing. Huh? Guy's a little toupee working. Hugging it out with his pillow. Right? Dude, you got, you got, I hate that guy. I hate that guy. I hate that guy. You know why I hate him? Because he reminds me of what I should be doing. And I hadn't had the courage to do. Billion dollars, a billion dollars in bullshit pillows. A pillow you got to put in your dryer to make it work. Pillow came to my house. We bought it after I saw the ad enough times. I like, shit. I hate the guy. I got to give him some money. I got to see what this pillow does. True story. Okay. Man, what's keeping me? I ask myself, what's keeping me from buying that ad? Why am I not doing a 30-second ad on TV every day? I mean, every hour. I mean, every 15 minutes. Why am I so scared? Why is it? Why aren't you guys getting attention? You got a good product? You got a good service? Until today, me and you didn't know each other. Did you know me? Yeah, I didn't know you, man. Shame on you. Right? You, got, you guys just say, oh, man, the guy posts too much. He does too much. He does this too much. He's got the big white car. He's got the, dude, dude, I ain't doing, I, it's not that I'm doing too much. I'm not doing enough. The only people that judge me for doing too, too much are not doing anything. Right? Oh, by the way, while, you're, while you accuse me of doing too much, what are you doing? You're, not, you're accusing me of doing too much, which is nothing. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm extremely excited to jump out and interview an absolute powerhouse in the insurance industry, Miss Leslie Schofield. What's up, Leslie? Hey, hey, hey. Happy to be here. Thank you so much for being a part of this. All right. She, she